Hello all traders. Today is Friday, 11th of October 2024 and we're going to look at the trades that we're going to take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 futures. If we see low risk opportunities, if we look at the one hour micro chart, we see that the price was fluctuating around the previous day close on all eminis and it started to go down during the London session and retested this level. And by looking at 10 minute macro chart, we see that after New York market opening, the price started to go down on NASDAQ, but went up on S&P 500 and Dow Jones. So our plan of action for today is to wait for the volatility to calm down. And if the price breaks this level and goes down, we can take sell short positions. And if the price breaks this level of resistance and goes up, we can take long positions. So stay tuned and we're going to update you with any trade that we're going to take today. So we're back and we see that the Nasdaq reached a support level which was rejected. So we're going to take position with setup defer and then later we set up C and T repeatedly. And we're going to close this long position for a quick scalp. And we have also another position on S&P 500 which was filled. And we're waiting for the pullback on Dow Jones to be completed. And we have an open position there now. The ATM closed the Dow Jones on the S&P 500 position automatically. We're waiting for the NASDAQ to have a pullback, but we missed that. So because the price is going back to the area of the resistance, and that's a sideway pattern, we're going to sell short that on the upper area of channel and also sell sell short positions on S&P 500 to see if that can be filled. Yeah, that got filled now. Waiting for the sellers to come back and push the price lower. That happened and the ATM closed both positions with profit. The order flow shows that the buyers are strong. So I'm gonna take one long position on all eminis for a quick scalp and let the ATM close them. So that happened. The market is choppy, so I'm gonna come back later. So we're back, and the price had a deeper pullback on Nasdaq, and the buyers are back now. So I'm taking long position with setup B, and on Dow Jones, we're taking long position with setup T, and also on S&P 500, waiting for the buyers to push the price higher and reach the target. The ATM is managing the positions and close all of them with profit. So waiting for the next pullback on NASDAQ. And setting limit orders. So that one also close on NASDAQ with profit. Setting more limit orders for the pullback to be completed. And enter with limit order or manually. So the S&P 500 position was filled. The pullback is deep. And I adjusted limit orders, so we got three positions filled. The volatility was high. And the positions were closed prematurely. So we did for a deeper pullback on Dow Jones and took one long position. But the buyers are not pushing a strong list so I close it on the upper area of channel with profit and the volatility is high so that's enough for the day. So all the signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funding accounts and you see here the performance on one of the accounts which shows it was positive reaching profit factor of 11 which is coming from 81% win rate, 78% from the long positions taken mainly and 100% from two set short positions and also the average win to loss ratio which was 2.72 the largest winning trade was 195 and the largest losing trade was $29 only so hope this trade taken by the path system for fast scalping is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions have a wonderful day and also weekend